what's up homies i enzo tv here welcome to another video in this video we will install twrp and root on samsung galaxy s5 yes you heard that right let's make a rewind uh, samsung galaxy s5 was released april 2014 so six years old na yung phone na to kasabayan din siya ng iphone 6 plus also released 2014 Kaso September naman siya ni-release. So itong gamit ko ngayon is uh, 16 gig variant. So medyo malag siya, hindi ko alam kung bakit. So enough talking, let's get started. First, download all the files that we need. Just check the link below. After nyo ma-download, kindly extract the file. Connect your device sa desktop or laptop nyo. Copy, then transfer nyo yung Super SU na file papunta sa SD card nyo. Kung wala kayong SD card sa internal storage, nyo na lang siya ilagay. Then, huwag kalimutan i-disconnect sa PC nyo. Second, extract the Odin file and try to open the app kung nagana. Third, go to your device. Makikita nyo yung gamit ko S5 walang power button. Kaya nangingi na lang ako ng tulong kay Mrs. para i-press yung volume down. Para mapunta sa download mode, press nyo sabay-sabay yung volume down, home button, and power button until makita nyo yung warning message. Use the volume up to continue. Fourth, connect again your device. Dapat naka-download mode na siya ngayon. Fifth, check nyo yung Odin app kung na-detect na siya. Dapat meron na labas doon color blue na ID com, then 0, com 1, or etc. Kung walang nag-appear na ganun, need yung mag-install ng Samsung USB driver. Kung meron na kayong install, skip nyo na yung next step. Sixth, as I said earlier, kung hindi pa kayo nakapag-install ng Samsung USB driver, included naman to sa files na dinownload nyo kanina, easy to install lang naman to. After nyo may install yung driver, disconnect nyo muna ulit yung device sa PC, then reconnect nyo ulit para ma-read or ma-detect ni Odi. Makita nyo naman under sa lag na detected na yung device nyo. Seven, go to options tab. Uncheck nyo yung auto reboot, then balik ulit sa lag. Check nyo yung AP. Then, i-click nyo yun para i-load nyo yung file na twrpklte.img. Then, click start. Antay nyo lang lumabas yung pass sa taas. Then, under sa lag, makita nyo naman sa baba na all trends completed. Succeed 1, fail 0. Ibig sabihin no, na install na natin yung TWRP. Ang next naman natin gagawin is i-install natin yung Super SU. Okay, yun nga, need natin install yung Super SU. Kailangan natin mag-enter ng TWRP recovery mode. Para pumasok dito, i-hold nyo yung volume up, home and power at the same time. Antayin nyo lang mag-load. Once in TWRP mode na kayo, swipe nyo lang to allow modification to continue. 9. Kapag nasa TWRP mode na kayo, 
go to install makik nyo lang kung saan nyo nilipat yung super SU na file select nyo lang yung swipe to confirm flash para mag install antayin nyo lang matapos At the bottom part, just wait the message, amounting system, and updating partition details done. Select nyo lang yung reboot. Last step, after ng restart, find the Super SU and open it. Now, pwede na kayo mag-install ng any custom ROM na gusto nyo. Easy lang to follow ng mga steps natin. Sa next video naman, papakita ko naman kung paano mag-install ng custom ROM. And yung i-install natin is yung Lineage OS 10, which is yung Android 10 na bago. Thanks for watching and see you sa next kong video. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, and share. Also, hit that notification bell para maging updated palagi sa mga new videos ko. Palagi ko sinasabi, stay safe, God bless, peace.